Hey all, welcome to Floating Village, the eighth location of the Jack West line. So now it's time to get the plate pieces. They are somewhere in this floating village, so let's go find them. Before we jump onto the bait, let's, let's check out the house. Well, as I expected, there's nothing much in the house, so I guess it's time to move on to the boat. They should have kept a free fish here, but that's not the case, so let's see. Hmm. So the entire village is just floating around. We have a few people with the yellow arrows, so let's go talk to each of them. Mm, this one wants a bait in the infested part of the town. I don't know what the infested part is. Let me talk to everyone first. This one wants a drum from where they were moving us from the infested town. Hmm, so looks like everybody wants something from the infested part of the town. These people probably have been moved out from that part. This one wants fly cakes. Three of them, but this one does not mention the infested part. And this is probably the source of the fly cakes, but for the fly cakes we need nine flies. Okay, I ran out of energy. Maybe something was wrong with the pop-up or maybe a sink issue. Anyway, I have ate some bulk food now. This will probably last me or maybe just a bit more. The total energy requirement is around 2 million based on the reward. Okay, so now our objective is to find the infested part of the town. Let's try here. Looks like, I don't know about the infested part, but at least we have the flies here. So let's go catch all of those flies. Can we actually catch them? No, we can't. So let's maybe try to activate the lever following the wire into the house. So blue wires on the red one, maybe that will cause a short circuit and will activate the lever outside. Okay, let's go back out. And pulling the lever activates that pillar which um, maybe has killed those flies and we were able to successfully collect them that's just one set of them we need nine of these So time to cause another short circuit. Ok, 
Okay, let's begin. This is probably not that complex, but maybe we'll just consume a bit of time. This one is ready down. And this goes up. This is down and the other one is up, so they are not to the closest of their actual connections. You will have to make sure the small wires that come out of those boxes, they match with the ones on the ground for this to work. And now that I have matched them, it's time to electrocute or something like that is the word. So let's collect the second set. Mm, so looks like we only have three sets. Initially when I came in here, I thought there were several more sets. That's not the case. So Okay, so let's see. Mm. Mm, this one is needed here, but first let me push the horizontal one up because that is where it is needed this one can also be pushed down and one last box the number of boxes with each house is increasing it seems so it's time to shock the last set of flies and we have them <laughs> And also we got a drum, which was yet another requirement. So let's go back to the town. Well, floating village rather than town. Anyway, so we have some more sites to check out, I believe. This person was the one that wanted a drum, I believe. Uh, no, this one wanted a bait. I'm just going to check out the house first. And now let's find the person who wanted the drum. This one is most likely the one. And he has now moved aside which paves us the way to check out yet another area. That one probably has the bait. First, the house. Okay, now let's go to the infested part of the town. Let me just clear up first. We have a treasure part here. Maybe I will do it that while coming back. So we have one, two, three more sets of flies. Let's go ahead and shock the first set of them. Hmm, this time we have rotatable electric boxes which is much more better. 
than the fixed ones. The reason being you can simply put any of these anywhere and they will just work fine because they are rotatable. You can rotate them as you like. You just have to make sure the wires coming out of them match with the ones on ground. That's all. Perfect matches. So the fourth set of flies should be ready to get collected after shocking. Okay, let's go collect it. Okay, fifth one. Okay, again some rotatable boxes, nice. Mm, this one can in fact go all the way in there. Or maybe I'll well, just push it all the way up because that's the harder one and you should always do the harder ones first, the ones in the corner so that it's easy for you to deal with the others more easier. out and there goes the fifth set this also means we are more than halfway through time it's not that easier because we have to figure out the connections um, how is that supposed to work let's start with the source connecting it through those boxes still not sure which one to connect to the blue or the white let me try the white well that of course doesn't work so blue it is in the previous house we saw that there was a blue connection mm, actually the more interesting part here is we seem to be lacking one electric box or we are not Okay, um, so looks like um, this in the center is the main device that we have to get to and it goes through the blue or the white box. Maybe the white box is what we have to use. Okay, in the previous house there was a white line between the two blue boxes. So, 
maybe those two boxes are just interconnected which means this box here is probably the one we have to connect here yes that seems to work so the logic that goes is like these two boxes are just simply connected so even though there is no straight wire there it actually has one so that's how you connect it and now the last I mean set of these this area is done and we also found the bait so we have to return this bait and then we will get access to the third area for now let me do the treasure part first hmm, this is a rather interesting one We also have some sort of hole there. Okay, it does show some solution. Both of those orange ones are facing to the top. And it probably means these two. I am just so close to them so I am just going to set them right because that's just some less things to remember for the future. Here's another hole. Okay, blue is left, orange is right. Third hole. Orange right again, black is left. So, black is left. Orange is right. And blue and orange combination, I think it was this one. Now I don't remember exactly if the blue was on top or the orange was on top. I may have to check out that hole again just to make sure of that and then we will continue this way itself. Blue on top, orange on bottom. So yes, that was right. This is another shortcut to go back there. Another hole. So white is down, orange is right. White is down, orange is right. Um, I probably have several more of those holes. a hole here but there's no all right so white is right blue is down right blue down orange right blue left white right blue down white right blue down blue down white right hmm so that one is set up correctly uh, where the orange is right, the blue is left. So that blue goes something like that. <laughs> okay, maybe not this one. It must be referring to this set. Uh, blue left and orange right, I think. 
Okay, that's the second set. And we have probably missed a hole somewhere. Did we check out this one? Mm, this one has two solutions. Okay, black and blue are down. Both white are left. Black and blue are down. Both white are left. All right, that opens up all the gates. And there's our treasure part of ivory mask. I think we have got a few pieces of this earlier. Anyway, back to the surface. And back to the floating village to return the bait and get the last set of flies. Okay, so around 200 more tiles to go. Let's return the bait and get access to the third and the last area. Okay, I forgot to use some energy. Just add some. Probably won't be enough, but I'll just eat more as I need. So that's the first house. Let's go ahead. Well, so it looks like we have several different connections here and it has gotten a bit complex. Let's see. Okay, so this is the incoming wire and because all of them are turning ones, we have to turn them. I mean, it can't go straight in any way. So it goes through the green and comes out of this. Again, it can't go straight. So it goes down into the white, comes out of the white and onto our final destination. So although that was a little bit complex, that was easy to run. Maybe there's just an introduction to what is coming up. So looking forward to the future. Seventh set of flies. some more energy needed all right into the last no I think the eight mm. okay let me just clear up first again hopefully that should maybe that's not enough I need some more anyway so first we come out of the wire out here and then it has to turn here I mean this is the only option currently so here we can't go straight we have to turn we enter into the yellow one and the yellow one comes out of from here Okay, there is a connection there, so let's turn it. I don't know why that bounced. Um, I think it's easier to pull this in. Uh, maybe we need one 
one of these up there. From the yellow, okay, that was correct. And now it comes out of the white and then goes into this electric thing. That is it for this one. So let's go back and collect our handful of flies. Okay, there's one last set to collect. Into the last house. Hopefully should be enough now. I think I over it. No. We still have around 50 more tiles. Okay, so let's begin. We come in from here. For that I think we'll use this set of box. Okay, we go into the pink. Come out of the pink here. And it's not possible to go straight, so we take a turn. Uh, eventually we are going into the blue one, so we will need one box there. I am going to use this box to enter the blue one. So from the blue one, we just have to rotate this. It goes into the red and it comes out from the red here. Uh, well, that's pretty much it. Hmm, one box never got used if this is correct, but turns out this is not. So what did we do wrong? It comes out of this and then goes into the blue one. Oh, this blue is different from this blue. So the one we were referring to is this one. I just found that weird that one of the boxes was not used, so turns out it's not. Okay, so now we're going to the white one. It goes into the yellow, yellow comes out, goes into the green, green comes out and simply connects the main generator. So that box there, that was never needed, although I thought it would be, but it's not used. So this is it. The last set complete. Time to collect those flies and then make some cakes out of them. The quest step is complete. We just have to get the pieces of the plate now and talk to Aja. Let's go. The way back is here. Still got around 40 more tiles. I wonder if we have as many. We probably do around the plate pieces. So let's go get our cakes first by giving the flies. And now we have to follow her in for the cakes. Our delicious cakes are ready and now to take them to the town hall um, which is probably this building a really big one they have some weird plate pieces but only Diggy knows how valuable those plate pieces are Okay, so putting the cakes on the tables. Okay, 
okay all the cakes are in now just to collect the plate pieces the first okay they are opening one by one so the second one and for the third one i need a bit of energy i'm just going to go ahead and eat a 24 given and there's our last plate piece after that we have to talk to aja the person who can save anansi we have still not caught on anansi's divine sphere so let's see when we get that i think for now we have to go to the city or something to talk to aja but we are missing a few tiles i think i may have missed them somewhere there yes i actually had an order these while you going up going towards the flies but then later i just forgot about these styles i remember now that i missed them this was the place so that is done and if you found the video helpful do like it oh and to complete the quest don't forget to talk to aja in the city so there we go the quest is complete so thank you for watching do subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one